as a parent yourself, what would you say to the parents who might object to somebody who shoots anything, you know, pornographic on the side um, as being a teacher yeah, for their children? Yeah, I, I think there's so many layers to my story and like so many beautiful conversations that can come up like this one. And, um, you know, I have like a couple thoughts about this. Like the first one is, it's really important that teachers are humanized. This idea that that teachers, you can't go out and drink or kids might see you drinking. Well, teachers, you're adults. You're a consenting adults. And every teacher has a sex life at home in their bedroom, including me. I was actually celibate for a long time. And even when I joined OnlyFans, I was celibate. So that's the other interesting, ironic twist to my story was like, People would have been more okay, okay with me bringing men around my children, sleeping, you know, participating in the hookup culture, having lots of sexual partners, um, but being celibate and finding a place to express my sexuality on the OnlyFans platform was wrong and horrible, where it's like virtual sex is the safest sex I could have been having. Yeah. Um, so I feel like there is this um, need to really humanize teachers. They are humans just like everyone else. They're going to have private lives just like everybody else. And as long as that teacher is doing a good job in the classroom and being appropriate and kind and um, representing themselves well in front of your children, then what that teacher is doing outside of the classroom is not the parent's business, just like it's not my business as a teacher what those parents are doing in their bedrooms. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there there is the standard for that. And I think, secondly, as a mother myself of two 11-year-old twins, this idea of porn really is the parents' responsibility to have these conversations around it, just like you're going to talk about alcohol, just like you're going to talk about smoking or drugs. The idea of sex and where porn fits in there for you and your family, I think um, instead of shaming the teacher, it's this beautiful learning uh, opportunity as a parent to talk about it because the truth is the internet is the wild, wild west, and kids have access to things that you and I never did as uh, kids. And the responsibility to talk to your kids at ages younger than you think you're going to need the talks um, really needs to be brought to the surface, you know. And I think even for me, I've had to talk to my kids who just turned 11 and they knew way more than I thought they did. Um, but that was good for me because it gave me the opportunity to have these conversations with them and start them now um, so that they don't have to dismantle these ideas around shame and their body and sex that I have had to do. Mm -hmm. And also too, I mean, you know, sex education is sorely lacking in this country as I'm sure you as a teacher know. I mean, what is, is there sex, is there, there's not mandatory sex education in Indiana, is there? You know what's so interesting? It's only required in 13 states, I believe. Really? Yeah. And there is this political agenda that I got caught up in as a teacher where they call every teacher a groomer now. And it's just like ridiculous. It's wild. And even if you are a proponent for sex education, in schools, and, and I'm saying reasonably age-appropriate yeah. about their bodies, starting at puberty, um, you know, just giving kids the language and the autonomy over their bodies. Um, there really is this backlash for this extreme right-wing conservatives, and it's wild and it's really, really sad because these are the same people who are screaming about being pro-life but it's like, in my opinion, if you're pro-life, then you're pro-sex. You're pro-condoms. You're pro-birth control. You're pro-sex education because you have to do everything that you can do to give people and, and kids and teenagers the autonomy to be safe and mm -hmm. to, to be empowered when they move into becoming a sexual being because they will. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's normal and it's healthy, you know, and I feel like 
it needs to be a partnership between parents and teachers to be able to set these children up so that we're not having these unwanted pregnancies or kids aren't feeling shamed or scared to go to their parents about be, being sexually active. So I think that's what's making it even more difficult is that people aren't even willing to have these reasonable conversations about where sex ed fits into schools. And in Indiana, they're trying to pass laws to ban books and and arrest librarians and teachers. And it's it's just really um, almost like the Twilight Zone. Yeah. Know? Yeah. It's really, it's really, it's actually scary how much fear is um, there is around sex in this country yes. specifically and how that tends to breed like the opposite reaction that people want. They're like, yes. oh, if we tell our children that, you know, we don't talk about sex or we tell them like, you know, you need to be a virgin until you're married. Yes. And th like those are the kids that are more likely to go out and experiment with sex early and get pregnant because they have no education, no tools on protecting themselves. And no support where they feel yeah. like they can't go to their parents because right. it's this it's awkward and shameful thing. And I remember my daughter saying to me, like, Mom, this is this feels very awkward and uncomfortable that we're talking about it. And I said, That's okay. I just need you to know that at the right time in your life, I am the best, healthiest resource for you mm -hmm. um, so that you can be empowered and protect yourself. And, um, you know, I think have this idea that you're going to turn into a sexual person and mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's okay. And it, it's normal and it's right. And uh, it's pleasure is okay. And sex is okay. And, you know, what beautiful gift can I give my, my kids? And especially now being on OnlyFans, recognizing the importance of it so mm -hmm. that they can be healthy in their sexuality and their self sex mm -hmm. lives, you know? Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.